Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have kind of a fun, casual video for you guys. Recently I've been collecting a lot of pairs of shoes. I don't know what it is. I think in the warmer months I like to buy shoes maybe even more than in the cooler months. There's so many fun styles, casual looks. And these days, honestly, casual looks are really what I'm into just because that's just my lifestyle. So a lot of these shoes you'll see are super casual but fun. Some of them are a little dressy where you can wear to work and wear to you know weddings and things like that as well. Um, so a lot of nice variety. And the main thing is all of these are super affordable. So as much as you probably know I love luxury items, um, I also love just great deals and bargains, the look for less, you know, all that too. So I hope these will give you some great ideas in terms of what shoes or styles you might want to check out as well. If you want to see my recent shoe haul, definitely keep on watching. If you are new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I love making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, a little bit of reselling and luxury as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. If you are returning, thank you so much for watching yet another video. All right, guys, so, you know, I figured, well, I just bought all this stuff recently. I'm going to start using them. Why not just do unboxings? I also am going to um, share with you guys a little bit of a try-on, too, for each of these styles so you can see how they look like on for me. So, as you may know if you watch my channel, I absolutely love fashion, but most importantly, handbags and shoes. Those are my absolute faves. And I'm always looking at getting some great deals on shoes that are super comfortable and versatile as well. So I think all these kind of fit the bill and I have different types of styles. So I'm just going to jump in and unbox them for you guys. And then I will insert clips of try-ons as well for each particular shoe. So you can see how they look like on and my initial thoughts in terms of comfort level, ease of wear and style as well. All right, so I'm going to start off first with a couple of pairs that I thought could go to the workplace and are a little bit dressier. Again, none of these are super dressy and they're all really affordable. And I will link what I can find down below if they are still available if you wanna check them out as well. All right, so the first one I'm gonna unbox here, you've probably seen this beautiful green turquoise box. And this is a pair of teaks. And I may have talked about teaks before, but I love teaks. Um, you know, it's just a great brand, I think. And they have such great personal touches, like the beautiful flowers that everything comes wrapped in. They will write you a handwritten note thanking you for your purchase. So I think it's just a great brand, super comfortable, easy to pack. I love wearing these uh, to work, of course. So let me just unbox this for you. And I will say I've had this for a little bit, but just haven't worn them yet or unboxed them at all yet, as you can see. So figured now is the time. So I got a beautiful pair of these ballerina flats. They're known for this, of course, but I love this color. I have a couple other pairs already, which I absolutely love, but I don't have anything in this particular finish. So Teeks, if you haven't uh, purchased them before, come with a little bag like this. And let's see what's going on here. Um, but the whole idea is you can fold them down, as you can see here, and use them as commuter shoes. So you can put your shoes in these bags and throw them in your tote bag, and you can go ahead and take them with you. So they're great for um, you know city living. If you go to work and have to commute, it's great to just pop in your bag. Um, once you're at work, if you want to wear heels there, for instance, you can pop these in your purse during the day. It also comes with, I believe this is a reusable bag, which is super nice too. So these little extras, you know, are just really fun. So this is a little reusable bag it comes with. And then, put that down there. And then this is the bag you can put your shoes in, which is really fun. Okay, so let's just get into the shoes themselves. And I got this beautiful pair of blush patent teaks. So teaks are known for this, of course, beautiful turquoise color, as you can see here. And look at how they fold. This is one ballerina flat, and it folds into itself. So it's super nice for travel. And it just folds out like this. 
and I love this color. It's called Blush, and it is really blushy, but it is more of a nude blush, I would say. It has a little bit less of a pinky undertone. I think it looks really more nude to me with a little bit of a blush undertone. They're leather lined. I usually go true to size and teak. So I wear a size seven, this is a size seven. My previous teaks were also in this size and they really wear beautifully and kind of mold to your foot as you wear them. I will say that there really isn't great arch support. So if that's something you're into, this does not really have that. Um, and I will say, just being totally honest, they're not the most comfortable shoe. I have more comfortable flats in my closet, but I just love the look of them. They have this little teal stripe in the back. That's kind of their trademark and it's just beautiful. So I love this particular pair. I will do a try on right now and let you know my initial thoughts of these as well. Okay guys, so this is what my patent pink or blush, I should say. Uh, teaks look like on so they are pretty comfortable as is true for most teaks there is a little bit of a squeaky noise maybe that's just because of the patent in case you're curious um, as I mentioned they're pretty comfortable especially for ballerina flats as is true for most ballerina flats they don't have good art support though so if you need that I think teaks really are not the right fit for you but I think they're really cute I really love this nude patent color I think it's super pretty so I'm excited to pair this with other outfits. I can definitely get away with wearing these to work as well. So yeah, super happy with these. I'm gonna try them out and let you know what I think, but teaks I think are a really cute um, option if you're into ballerina flats. All right, so next up here, I have another pair that I think can be worn to workplace as long as you're able to wear strappy sandals. So not all workplaces allow that. My workplace is pretty lenient. I probably wouldn't wear this to a clinical, you know, medical setting because I like to have toe coverage for work like that. But on the days where I just have to go to the office, have some very casual meetings or lunches, I think a shoe like this would work. But what I really wanted this particular shoe for was first to pair with some dresses that I hopefully will be wearing to some weddings I have to go to later this year. So this is from the line Mark Fisher. And I think Mark Fisher is a brand that is great for kind of uh, more affordable looks that are really, really stylish. And I believe he initially designed for Nine West before branching off on his own. So again, these are true unboxings. I have not seen these before. But as you can see, I picked up this beautiful um, pair of strappy pumps. This is called the Galvin, I believe. I got it in a size seven and this is in a medium pink shade. As you'll see, based on the link below, if I can still find these available, this was super affordable. Um, so definitely check it out if you're interested. And this strappy look, I think is still really trendy, um, very kind of minimalist look. I love this pop of color, and I love this squared off toe. I think that also is pretty trendy as well. But I really like this for weddings, for instance, because of this chunky heel. So I have some weddings coming up and they're gonna be outdoor weddings. And you know what? I'm not into those stilettos poking into dirt or grass. So I tend to go for shoes like this if I'm gonna be going to an outdoor wedding. So I envision, you know, a very basic dress with this and then just a pop of pink. So I totally love this vibrant pink color. So I'm excited to give these a try, but so far I'm super impressed with these. Uh, I think it's a great look. I really hope they're comfortable, but I am looking forward to wearing these to a lot of weddings in the next couple months. Okay guys, so here are those really cute strappy Mark Fisher sandals that I was hoping to wear to upcoming weddings. So I just love the strappy look. These actually are pretty comfortable. As you can see though, the toes have kind of a tight fit. And my pinky still stays in there, but you can see it's kind of a tight fit. So I don't know with where or how comfortable these will be, but for right now, I'm kind of liking them. I think if you have a major bunion, like I have a little bit of one on both sides, um, this may not be the most flattering, but I think you can get away with these. And I will say right now, at least they're very comfortable. I do love the look. I love the pop of pink. So I'm definitely gonna get some wear out of this. And the block heel is just so comfortable that I think it's gonna do well for my outdoor weddings that I have coming up to go to. So yeah, I'm overall liking these pretty well. So I think these are a great affordable pair of heels, especially um, for outdoor kind of events. 
Okay, so now moving on to a few pairs I picked up that were super, super casual, kind of beach vibes. I have a couple of vacations coming up still, so I am going to take these with me. Um, they also have similar versions and other styles. You've seen these looks before, but a lot of these are super, super affordable. So first one is this pair. All right, so this pair, as you can see, looks like Birkenstocks. In fact, I almost went for the same look in the Birkenstock. I tried it on, was about to get them, and then Amazon Prime Day hit, and these popped up. This is from a brand called Funky Monkey, which I've never heard of before, but this got great reviews on Amazon, and I got a deal on Prime Day. Even now that Prime Day has ended, these are still super, super affordable. So if you want the look of those white Birkenstocks that are just everywhere now, um, I think this might be a good alternative. So I wanted these really just for the pool and beach. I don't think I'm going to wear them around um, other than that. So I don't really need a high-end slide like this. I want one that I can just toss around, leave at poolside, not worry if it gets stolen or what have you. So I don't know. I'm going to try these on and see what I think, but I think they look pretty good for the price points. And I'm super happy that I was able to save quite a bit of money um, over the Birkenstocks, of course. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. But I think this is a great, great dupe for the Birkenstocks. So Funky Monkey on Amazon. Definitely something to check out. Okay, so here's that pair of those Amazon Prime Day Funky Monkey shoes that I have on right now. I don't know, I kind of like these. They're super comfortable as expected. I might need to adjust the straps a little bit. I think they're a little bit loose right now, but this is true to size for me. Size seven is what I normally wear and that's what I have here. But yeah, I like the look of these. I think they look the same as the Birkenstocks, honestly. So I'm happy I went with these for a much more affordable price point. But yeah, I think these are comfortable. I'm gonna use these as pool slides. So I'm super excited about that on my upcoming vacations. So definitely check it out. I'll link down below if I can find these still. Again, they're called Funky Monkey is the brand. Um, but I think definitely worthwhile checking this out. And they have so many colors that you can choose from. All right, so the next pair is another one from Mark Fisher. I just found great deals on Mark Fisher, so I just went for a couple of shoes this time from Mark Fisher. This is similar to the ones that I just um, unbagged for you, so I wanted to pull these out. This is another really fun slide that I'll be wearing still in the warmer months that we have left this year. So this one is a little bit more of a nicer type of a look, but still that kind of Birkenstock type of style. So these are what I picked out from Mark Fisher. And let's see if it's called the Kina. And this is black in a size seven. So I went true to size. I will try them on um, and let you know my initial thoughts on them. But this is a little bit more of slightly dressier, obviously, than the previous pool slides that I showed you guys. But it has the adjustable buckles here. I love the black footbed with the pop of white. I think that just looks really sharp. And this kind of reminds me, of course, of the chunky sandals that are so popular, you know, the dad sandals. But this is a lot, lot less expensive, obviously. So I really hope these work out for me. I don't know if I'm into buying designer dad sandals. It's just not totally my style. But I kind of want to try out the look. So I thought this would be a good alternative. It doesn't break the bank. And I don't know, I just thought these were kind of cute and will be very versatile just to leave by the front door and just pop on whenever I have to run errands. So yeah, so far super impressed, but this really cool kind of casual sandal from Mark Fisher, super, super affordable. Okay guys, so these may be my most favorite pair in terms of just the look of them. I think that they look really cool like dad's sandals, but they're not too bulky or chunky and that's kind of more my vibe. They're super comfortable as well. So I really, really like the look. The one downside I will say is that when you walk, you probably hear that, there's a little bit of a suction sound that happens, which I'm not thrilled about. I hope this will kind of break in a little and you won't have that as much when you wear them a little bit, but that is a little bit annoying. But besides that, they fit perfectly. This is true to size. Super cute look, I think. And yeah, super affordable. Great look. I think really trendy, really versatile for warm weather. So yeah, happy with these particular slides.
All right, so next up, I have a pair of sandals that I had really, really thought about for a long time. I just finally decided to try them out. So this brand is Tiki's. Okay, so I first talked about this brand on my Nordstrom recommendations for the anniversary sale video, where I saw a similar pair from a brand called Beak. I believe and that one uh, retails for $150 and was on sale in the Nordstrom sale and I was thinking about picking up those slides but you know it was just a lot of money and it is the same look as these but this particular brand Tiki's I think I'm pronouncing it right um, is also super super popular in and of itself and has been spotted on many different celebrities and I first learned about this brand as a reseller because I came across one of these slippers or slides in a rescue box that I had to resell. And you know, I said, hey, let me look it up. And I was surprised to know that a basic, simple slide like this would command a pretty decent resale potential. So that's kind of how I first learned about them. So rather than buying those beak ones for a lot more money, I wanted to try these out. And again, this is another Amazon find where you can get a pretty decent value. These aren't on super crazy sale or anything, but oftentimes they'll have a little bit of a discount on Amazon. So that's where I checked them out. And this is the brand, as you can see here. And this is a leather slide. It's a basic slide though, as you can see here. Very thin straps, it's kind of what it's known for. It has traction on the bottom as well. So I went true to size in these. I will see how these work out. This is the brown tone, it's called Heat Wave. So I have black sandals as you just saw and I have other ones too. So I thought this kind of basic brown color may be something that's just super versatile. So I'm looking forward to trying these out more, but I'm happy I finally got a pair of my own and you know, probably save some money over buying those Nordstrom ones. So again, this is a great brand to know. Even if you're a reseller like I am, it's a great brand, kind of a bolo brand to look out for. All right, so here are the famous Tiki's. Love the minimalist look. As you can see here, they've run really true to size, I say. This is a size 7, and that's my normal size for fit, as you can see there. Um, but, you know, these are pretty comfortable. They don't have arch support, okay? So if you're looking for a slide with arch support, this is not them. But I think they fit pretty well. I have a real medium width type of foot sizing. So that's what they look like on. And yeah, I love the minimalist, simplistic look. I think it looks really, really chic and casual, but just a really nice casual look. And it's not like a rubber slipper, it's leather, so it's a little bit more elevated. So I think it just looks really, really nice on the foot, as you can see here. So yeah, I'm excited to wear these. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna go again to Hawaii, I should say. So I'm gonna take these to Hawaii. Stay tuned, I may try to do another little Hawaii vlog and shopping trip if you're interested. But these are definitely coming with me. They're super easy to travel with too because they're very light. Don't take up any space in your luggage or hand carry. So yeah, really happy about these. I'm actually gonna go look for more colors as well because I just really, really like this one. All right, so the last category of shoes I have to unbox for you guys here are probably maybe my most favorite category right now, and that's sneakers. I love the casual look of sneakers. You can pair it with dresses, shorts, jeans, just anything. So I've been really, really into the sneaker trend recently. So these aren't even all the ones that I bought um, over the past several months, but this is just kind of a sampling of different styles that I thought you might be interested in for pretty good values. So the first pair I just have on top here, and it's a pair of classic Adidas, but it's this line, it's called the Parley, and it has a really nice, comfortable, cushioned insole like that. And it has some really nice elevated features, as you can see here, but it's really just the superstar type of a look here. So this particular shoe I did get at a local mall in an Adidas store, and I got a pretty decent discount, but this does retail for quite a bit normally. Um, I did decide to size down a full size. So as you probably heard about on these superstars from Adidas, you have to size down. I have probably five pairs of superstars already, and I've had to size down on all of them at least a half size. These I went down a whole size, just so you're aware. Um, so I have a size six in these, but these look like they're just extra kind of elevated, nice quality uh, superstars. So I wanted to go for these. 
and these are just like super versatile and comfortable I think so I'm gonna try these on for you guys but that was my first pair of sneakers that I decided to go for all right guys so I love a good pair of sneakers and this definitely fits the bill I have several pairs of superstars as I just mentioned but these are probably my most elevated and favorite ones so far they're just so classic I just love the particular look of these super comfortable and just to remind you guys, in all superstars, you have to size down. And with these, I size down a full size. So I'm wearing a size six. I normally wear a size seven, but this is the perfect fit for me. I just love the look of these. They're very comfortable. They're heavier than other shoes though, but overall, you know, I think they're very, very comfortable. So yeah, super excited about these. Definitely check them out if you can find them. Um, but yes, this particular version of superstars, definitely worth it, I think. And then, I recently, like a lot of you I think, have a love affair with Converse. So you will see, or maybe have seen already, in my Nordstrom Anniversary Sale Haul, um, I did pick up a pair of the Converse High Tops. I was so happy in that sale I was able to score that, um, that all white Converse. I think it's just so pretty. But these I came across at our local mall. and. These are a little different because they're the low tops, and I think this is called, let's see, Shoreline. I got this in a size 7, but what I liked about these is it's a classic all-star Converse look, but it's the low top, so it's different than the high tops I got at Nordstrom. But this is just kind of an easy slip-on style. I'm not going to wear them with socks, uh, and it has just the already done kind of laces, so you don't have to lace them up. So I think for just real casual, just weekends, Sometimes I don't want to lace anything. I just want to slip on and go. So I just love these easy slip on shoes. I think this is going to be super useful for me. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to try these. It's a different look than my other Converse. So yes, I'm going to go retro and start wearing Converse again because I don't know. I just am really into the look these days. So this is my new pair of low top Converse. All right, so curious to know what you guys think about these. Uh, I like them. These are the slip-on Converse that I just talked about. And as you can see, they are having the uh, kind of like self-tie laces. So you just really slip them on. I don't know what I think about the look though. It kind of sticks out in a weird way as you can see the laces there. But I think they're super comfortable and convenient. You really literally just slip them on. So I'm definitely going to be using these, especially on the weekends with the kids. Just super casual running errands. So I do like them. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of how the laces kind of stick out like that. Uh, but the slip-on style I think is so so convenient. I do like the look of Converse. I think it's kind of retro. It goes with a lot of outfits in terms of a casual uh, lifestyle that I have. So yeah, I'm excited to wear these more and let you know what I think in a future video. But yeah, let me know what you think about these. Again, also um, check out my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul because I also hauled the high top version in all white of Converse 2. So I'm excited to try both of these pairs out. But um, yeah, loving the real casual vibe of these. All right, so one final pair of shoes here to unbox for you guys here. This is from a brand called Tree Torn, which I wasn't too familiar with, but I know they sell it at different places, including Nordstrom. And I believe it was established in Sweden, at least the box is here. So this one I thought was a pretty unique style. So I'm going to just show you guys what I got. So this is a little different because these are a pair of mules. So this is a comfort footbed, supposedly. It's not huge in terms of comfort, I'll say, just feeling it, but I will try them on. Um, but it's supposed to be a comfort footbed, and it has laces, so you can lace them. But this one, I think, has a lot of other um, comfort features, too. It has ortholite comfort foam and this is just a canvas material it's not leather so it's super lightweight unlike some of the other sneakers I showed which are a little heavier this one is really really lightweight it has some of the navy details here but I don't know I just thought this was perfect because it's a mule style which is pretty unique you just slip them on without socks and I thought really when I travel in the airports this is going to be super easy when I have to put my shoes into the TSA check um, just slip them off. I hate tying sneakers at the TSA check, so this might be a good alternative, I thought. And I think it's just a cute style. It's just really fun, casual. I love the sneaker mules. I have a couple pairs that I just really enjoy in the summer. 
So yeah, tree torn. Let's see how it looks on, but I think it looks pretty cute. I don't know what you guys think, but super fun style. All right, so here is my pair of those slip-on mule sneakers from Tree Torn. I also totally love this look. I think this is definitely one of my favorites of the haul. It's super convenient just to kind of slip on like this. You can just leave it by your door, grab and go kind of a thing. Um, but I like the look. I think it looks sporty, but it's super convenient and casual too. It's very lightweight because it's all canvas, so it's really easy to walk in and I think it's something that I can definitely walk in for most of the day it's super convenient that way and I think it's comfortable and breathable so yes I'm definitely going to be traveling with these as well I think again it's perfect for airplane travel if you just want to be able to slip off your shoes at the TSA or even on the airplane I think it'll be super convenient for that so yes I'm really really loving these shoes from Tree Torn definitely check them out they make so many different styles and they have different colorways too so I think it's just an easy, casual summer mule. All right, guys. So there you have it. That was my recent affordable shoe haul. I hope you had fun kind of unboxing and also seeing my quick try-ons for you guys. So far, I'm impressed. A lot of these were pretty, pretty affordable. So I hope you decide to consider checking them out as well. Let me know some of your favorite shoe finds recently. I'm always interested in expanding my shoe collection, of course. Thank you so much for watching another video. I hope you're staying safe and healthy and enjoying the beautiful weather these days. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.